Now we try to tell you about the, the basic idea about meditation. Most important part. Huh? So you need to know about the meaning of awareness. Uh, awareness means we are knowing our sixth sense. If you know your sixth sense, that means that you are aware. Because the mind can direct experience, can know the sixth holy sense. You know you see, you know you can hear, you know you can smell, you can taste, right? You know you taste and you know your sensation, body sensation, and then you can know your mental state, mental activity. So only six sense of the mind can direct, can aware, can know. So if you know your six sense, six object, that means it's awareness. But First, very important point is we are don't use too much concentration. Huh? Don't use concentration too much and penetrate concentrate we don't use. Because we need to practice all the time. If you use a lot of energy, the mind then body and mind try to become tired. And also uh, we have a habit, whatever we do, we use the craving. We have followed the craving, aversion, and delusion of defilement. If defilement, you, we, we use uh, our defilement, our mind will become tense. For example, when we practice, we have expectation, or we want something, we want to get something, then we use a lot of energy. And also, we, if you don't like something, we try to get rid of something, then we use a lot of energy. And also, we don't know how to practice. Also, we use a lot of energy. So, so, so that's why we are not trying to use a lot of energy. Relax we. We try to relax from the defilement. Because the people are happy. Whatever we do, we use a lot of effort. Now we meditate, we don't use too much effort. Relax and better to be aware continuously. We are... So, here, first important point is don't push too much. And also maintain the awareness all the time. Because Bhavana means is a meditation means is a cultivation, cultivate the good quality of mind. Every time we are mindful, every time we are aware, there is a fight, fight, uh, fight. How to say? Faculty. Yeah, fight faculty is walking, the awareness, uh, samadhi, effort, faith, and wisdom. This fight faculty is walking together. So, not only the aware, awareness not alone awareness, awareness, stability of mind, samadhi is a stability of mind and effort and faith and wisdom. We need to use two, all together. So every time we mindful, this quality must be working. So we try to cultivate this quality of mind. Meditation means it's a cultivate, cultivation. That's why we need to practice all the time. So here, we, our schedule is the morning wake up to under sleep time. Meditation, all the time is we need to meditate. Because meditation is mind work, not body work. Maybe body is sitting, posture sitting, walking, standing, lying down. Any posture, the mind needs to be aware. So posture is not meditating. When you sit and you think what you want to think, that's not meditation, right? So, meditation is a mind work. The mind needs to be aware. And also have a right thought, right view. So, the, here we practice all the time. Any, whatever you do, wherever you go, anywhere, anytime. Don't forget yourself. Pay attention yourself. And also, nature of the mind is like this. If you allow this quality of mind again and again and again, 
the quality is increasing. This is the nature of the mind. Good quality of mind or bad quality of mind. If you allow this mind happen again and again and again again, his quality is naturally increasing. So that's why we no need to force. No, not push energy too much because if you use a lot of energy, then energy become waste and more tired. And also, if you too much energy and going down, it's easier. So we can maintain that way all the time, and naturally, slowly, the mind become growing like this. So if you practice right, longer and longer, the mind quality is increasing, more relaxed, more peaceful, and more happier and more interest. If you use too much energy, if you long time practice, you become slowly tired and boring, not interest. There is something wrong. If you write like this, if you long time like this, the mind becomes more stronger and stronger. Person quality is increasing. So that's why we need to cultivate all the time. Allow to happen again and again. So first important point is don't force too much. And but important is the maintenance all the time. This is the effort, nature of the effort. Effort means is a moment to moment try to be aware. Try to be aware, moment to moment be aware. That, that's it. No need to force too much. Uh, okay. So this is a first important point. Second important point is right view. Because we have a very strong wrong view already there. When we meditate, the view must be changed. We should not change our view like old view. Or, or. So what is the right view? Uh, first, we need to know what, what is the wrong view. Wrong view means is we are believing that this physical process and mental process is me or self, personal. So whatever happening in your body, we said, I my pain, I pain, I I hold, I hold, right? Whatever happening in the body, we think is me, I. And my also we think knowing is me, I know, feeling is me, I feel, one thing also me, I want. So all mental activity also we believe in as I or self. If you are thinking with me, then craving also become more increasing. All defilement increasing because of idea of self. When you think about I want, the one thing is increasing. When you think angry, you think I'm angry, angry is increasing. Many people, they have depression. They know the depression, but they think I am depressed. And depression is increasing. So this is a, because of this idea, is an idea of self, then we meditate, it's more difficult. Wrong view and understanding cannot come. So that's why we need to change our view. The right way it means is we try to think about the physical process and when the process is me, uh, as nature. Nature means is that they own, they own, they have their own cause and their own effect. The process. That means is nature. So we try to watch ourselves as a nature and also we try to understand this nature. So why we are aware, there is a two function, two reasons for try to aware. First reason is try to cultivate awareness. This is five, five faculty. Try to cultivate. That's why we try to aware. And second reason is try to understand. So we watch our ourselves, physical process and mental process, we try to understand this process, what's happening. So what first we need to think as a nature and how this nature happened. Then you can more interest about the process. We try to understand this nature, what happening in the body, what happening in the mind, how the relationship have, how they are working. We want to know anything about this physical and mental process. Any good experience or any bad experience, bad experience we want to understand. That's why we are watching and aware. So we personal. We personal meditation is a try inside meditation, try to inside arise to learn something about the process. 
like a scientist, we try to watch this nature again and again and again and learn something about the nature. Like this. So that's why we are trying to watch our body and mind again and again the whole day. So like meditation is a vipassana meditation means it's a learning process, not create process. That's why we don't need to force. Step back and all the time watching what's going on again and again and again. That's why we don't need to force. And we must not experience object, it should be nature. We should not try to control the nature, we not try to change the nature, let it be. We try to let the nature happen, then step back and watch and learn. So that's why we don't need to force. So this is a two important point. First important point, don't focus too much, don't concentrate, don't penetrate too much and continue the awareness. And second important point is right view, think the right way about its body and mind. Then we can learn, we can understand. For example, the pain arising. If you think I pain, my this my leg is pain, I am pain, the pain is increasing. The reaction is increasing. If you think pain is nature, very different. The mind becomes accept and more interest. And if you want to know, the mind becomes more interest. So this point of view is very important. Whatever happening, this is nature, and we try to understand this nature. Nature can can interest. Otherwise, you think about this me. If you are present, you want to hold. If you are unpresent, you want to kick. This is a outside world. We all the time doing this, holding and kicking, holding and kicking. All the time until we die, we have any good experience we try to hold and bad experience we try to keep. Now we are trying to watch with the understanding, right? view. That means it's a middle way. We are not trying to involve the good state. Also, you are not involved in the best state. We, middle way means we are stay there and watch both sides. Same view. Right? This is also nature, that is also nature. So, and this is the uh, main, main thing. So when you practice in time, sitting time, you can use any object. But you need to know about the meditation idea. There are uh, many different ideas, samatha and vipassana. You know concentration practice and inside meditation, right? Samatha is a concentration practice, and vipassana is the inside med- meditation. So there are different ideas. When you said you are Vipa, practice Vipassana, but your idea is a Samatha idea that wisdom cannot come. So you need to know about why it's different the Samatha and Vipassana. Concentration practice is object is one object and also concept. And uh, reason, uh, motivation is one to come down. Vipassana practice is an object is a several object. It related to the several object and nature, not concept. And motivation is understanding. Want to understand? That's why the uh, concentration practice will try to concentrate too much. Three person practice and learning process is bigger. Idea is different. Huh? Um, I, I don't understand the what? Samatana. Samatha is a concentration practice. So there is a samadhi. Samadhi means it's a stability of mind. No? They translate concentration. I don't like to call concentration. I, I translate to samadhi means it's a stability of mind, stable of mind. So you can get the stability of mind two ways. One point of concentration, also the mind sets, sets it down, right? This is Samatha Samadhi. This is the practice of concentration practice. The concentration, the one of point of concentration, the mind comes down. And Vipassana Samadhi is a right view. Think the right way. Right understanding and right, right view. Because of wisdom, the mind is not attached or not resist. That's why the mind is stable. So this, this, this stability of mind we more use in the Vipassana practice. So that's why we don't concentration too much. 
And also, Samatha practice, concentrate practice, concentration practice is the only one point of concentration, one object only. Other object, all other objects neglect. We must know object is, you use the main object to build up your awareness, and if your awareness better and better, more receive, more object. You need to know everything. Uh, if your mind quality better and better, awareness quality better and better, his receiver is be better in, he more receive more object. For example, if you use the Anapana first, main object, and slowly the awareness better and better, he can know the Anapana same time and the sound, same time the pain, same time the thoughts, together. Simultaneously he can know many objects, means your awareness become very sharp. This is not one thing, this is not scattered, this awareness better. So we need to know, if you practice Vipassana, that kind of awareness is very important. So this idea is different. And concentration practice or other object is disturbing. Only what he want to object is, other object is a disturbing. For Vipassana, any object is a not disturbing. They, you, they, they are helping you to be aware. For example, the sound. If the concentration practice, the sound is totally disturbing. And for Vipassana practice, the sound is object. We use this object to grow our awareness, samadhi, and wisdom arising, right? So we use any object. For Vipassana practice, the six object or any object is not disturbing you. All are nature, all are meditation object. So very different idea, no? That's why the concentration practice, they try to close the eye, they try to close the ear, and they try to avoid the people, they go to the forest, they don't want to see anything, because of the one point of concentration. They need a lot of concentration. They, because of some time practice, deep, deep, deep concentration. So, for we must not practice, you can practice anywhere, anytime, any situation, any, any job, any butcher. That's why you can practice Vipassana meditation in daily life. Samatha is uh, very skillful, then you can apply in daily life, but for, it's very difficult to look outside many objects. That's why people, Samatha idea people, they try to avoid the object. We must not meditate, any objects, no need to avoid. We can use anything. Do you want to go to Nibbana? Should you later move to forest or camp also daylight? You can Nibbana in, in the daily light also. Oh, Nibbana yeah. oh. is everywhere. Oh. Uh, no, not in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you understand it, that time Nibbana arrives. Nibbana is uh, not very far from you. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the forest. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and so one, one, one yogi, I said, you can open the eye and meditate. But she said, if I open the eye and meditate, my concentration gone. What means is that uh, his concentration is, cannot use. When you open the eye, the, the concentration cannot use. Somebody gone. Because of, Ah, samadhi is one point of concentration. If you open the eye, the mind is come, this object is so obvious. He cannot get the one point of concentration because the mind needs to share the object. The, this object is so obvious, you cannot avoid this scene. Boom, scene already there. That's why her concentration gone. So we person are not that kind of concentration. We person are is uh, any object, open the eye also with concentration there, who close the eye also concentration there. Then this maintain a, this concentration, this samadhi all the time, everywhere. You can bring the, this samadhi because of right view, right understanding. At one point of concentration, you cannot apply anywhere. So meditation is not eye work, mind work. If your eye open, you can practice. Close the eye also, you can practice. I more emphasize this open eye. Because I'm not sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> because people, they are close their eye long time, they have an idea. Because every time they, when you are 
in the, your life when you are close your eyes? When you are, when, when, what, what time when you close your eyes? Relax time, right? No effort and relax and close your eyes. So the mind has idea, bad time has. So close your eyes too long, the mind is alarm is you need to rest. <laughs> That's why the mind more more relaxed and sleepy. If your awareness very strong, stronger awareness and close eye, no problem. The mind is awake, alert. But be- for beginner, it's difficult. So that's why you can practice open eye or. But you need to learn how to aware in the eye open also, because in daily life you cannot close all the time, right? If you close the eye all the time, there's a lot of problem come. <laughs> cannot do anything. <laughs> so, so. I also, you need to learn here how to apply the meditation in your life. This is the most important point. Other th- or, or other th- otherwise, you all the time go to the meditation center. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you need to practice in your home. Because in your home is a lot of problem, right? When your mind is calmed down in meditation, um, where, where is the most agitate in the meditation center or your home? <laughs> right? So, meditation is uh, um, for, for physical sickness, we need to medicate, right? For mind sickness, we need to meditate. When you mind sick, mean is you have a lot of craving, a lot of aversion, a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety, mean is your mind is sick. <coughs> When your mind is sick, we need to meditate. Meditation is a cultivate the wholesome quality. When you have an unwholesome mind, it's increasing. Then we need to practice meditation. Meditation is to try to cultivate the wholesome quality. Then the mind becomes better. Right? So, so come, you are come, in short time, you, you can come here, learn how to practice, how to watch your body, how to watch your mind. Then, you go back, you can apply it and learn from yourself, right? If you know, okay, do you know why your mind suffer? If you realize, if you understand why the mind is suffer, you will not suffer. You can avoid the suffer, suffering. Why your mind suffer, why your mind happy? If you know the nature of the mind, you can handle your mind quality. So that's why we need to learn from our mind, how, how, what happened in the mind. We want to understand the nature of the mind, right? Not only physical, mind also mind, more important. Physical is don't know nothing. <laughs> the mind is about all the time thinking, emotion, aversion, suffering, happiness is in the mind. If you don't know the nature of the mind, how do you live your life with peaceful? Right? So life is the quality of the mind. If you quality good quality of mind, your life is better quality. If your mind is messy, your life is messy. Right? If your mind is blue, whatever you look is blue. Right? When your mind is peaceful, everything is beautiful. The world is beautiful because your mind is beautiful. So this quality of mind is very important. How to maintain your mind quality, good quality of mind? How to get rid of this bad quality of mind? So you need to know. That's why we try to practice, try to learn ourselves. So, so learning is more useful. Peacefulness is when you concentration only one mind come down, and you get up and you finish. You cannot apply in the this peacefulness only. If you understand it, then you know the cause and effect, why this happening. Then you can fix the cause, the effect is already good. So, learning process, we practice new personal learning process, so watch and learn about our, ourselves. Hmm. No? So, when you meditate, when you sit in time, you can use any object. Object is not important. In, in Bama, a lot of method because of object different, <laughs> method different. But meditating mind is only one. 
right view, right thought, right livelihood, right speech, right action, right awareness, right samadhi, and right effort. No but a full part is a meditation mind. There's only one. Object is many objects. You can use anapana, different objects, rising, falling. Some people use rising, some people here, some people is solar plexus, some people is touching. Everywhere, object is not important. Object is we use the object to grow our quality of mind. Awareness continuously, awareness better and better, and maintain the samadhi better and better, we understand growing. So, we use the object to grow our quality of mind. So you can use any object. Sometimes some people they cannot find this object. If you cannot see that it's difficult to see this object, choose a more easy object. It's easier. Objects are not very important. Some, oh, some people they think that only this is a meditation object. No. You have a six a set or six object. You can use any of the seeing also you can use. Many people they practice long time, maybe 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, they don't know how to use this idol. Because meditate with, all the time we meditate what they do. <laughs> Close the eye. They don't know how to practice. In Upasana meditation, the Sati Patana Sutta, the Buddha teaching already, seeing object. You need to learn how to aware of this thing. Because this door also, a lot of emotion come. Right? You see something, a lot of liking, disliking, worry, anxiety, immediately come. If you don't know this process, how to, how to maintain your peacefulness? So you need to learn how to aware of the seeing and looking. Not very difficult. Meditation is a seeing and looking and talking. Meditation is most difficult because never practice. <laughs> because of less practice, if practice less, it is difficult. If not practice, it is easier. So, I also daily activity, you need more practice for seeing and looking. Not very difficult. Because this object is so obvious. You cannot avoid, you open the eye, the object is already there, Paul. You, you cannot close, you cannot avoid this object. But every time you are looking, if you are aware you are looking, become happy. Awareness automatically come back. Because you look all the time. Right? The whole day, how many times you look? All the time. Mm-hmm. But how many times you notice you are looking? No. That is a delusion mind. That is a delusion. You don't know you are seeing, you don't know you are looking. It's very deluded. But only we only use body sensation. We know our body sensation. Okay, that awareness there. But you need the most care for any object. But seeing and looking is very important. Pay attention. Huh? We call pay attention with the eye, we call looking. Pay attention with the ear, what we call? Listening. Listening. Pay attention, the quality of mind is the same, function is the same, but the door is different. So, not very, diff- not very difficult. Now you look at me. You look into me, right? Do you know you're looking? Now, 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 try. Do you know you are looking? Not me. <laughs> Do you know you are looking? Not me. No. You are looking to me. But now I am asking to you. Do you know you are looking? No, no. Looking, looking. <laughs> and looking and practicing now. Not very difficult. We all the time doing this. But not habit. Not practice. Right? Looking, all the time you are looking, but now you try to recognize you are looking. It's later you become very obvious. Every time you are looking, if you are aware, become happy, awareness automatically come back. Because you all the time looking. And looking the clock all the time, awareness is very good already there. <laughs> become happy. And looking something, I focus, awareness is already there. Because of long time practice, habit. So every time you look, 
if you try to aware, try to looking, 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 you know you're looking again, 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 you can't have it, the awareness is automatic. So, in daily activity, if you are sitting time, you close your eye, open eye, no problem. But daily activity, this activity, you need to apply this also. You know you are looking, without looking, you cannot do anything. Yeah? Open the eye, open, open the door, looking first. And taking the food, but when you don't know you are looking, you know, you know the food, oh <laughs> <laughs> Choosing the food, well, well, and then you forget you are looking. Because of craving, choosing the, this food, that food. <laughs> right? So, without looking, you cannot do anything. Only blind people, they can do. <laughs> <laughs> so, looking also very good practice. Huh? Seeing is, seeing practice like this. Seeing is, seeing everything. Sights. We, we try to notice sights is there. We are not looking, the seeing is already there. Open the eye, the sea is already the sea. Everything, this is 180 degree seeing is. Just we can recognize we are seeing. Not very difficult. If you difficult, you confuse, then close the eye, then don't see, right? And you see maybe black. <laughs> then open, then see is there. This object is very obvious. For me, long time practice the seeing object, this become habit. Every time I look at you, awareness there, wisdom there, seeing there. No need to force, do. So make habit, uh, seeing and looking, also. hearing, listening. Because of seeing, you can look, or because of looking, you can see. What do you think? Because of seeing, you can look, or because of looking, you can see. <laughs> because of seeing, you can look. But blind people, they don't see. That's why they don't try to look. Right? Because they don't see. So they cannot look. Because of seeing, we can look. But sometimes craving is that he wants to choose what he wants to see. That's why he's looking, looking for something. This is a craving motivate. But understanding is a seeing. Because of seeing, you can look. So whatever. This process, we try to understand the seeing process, hearing process, who is seeing, who is looking, who is see, listening. Nobody there. When you practice seeing and look, seeing and hearing, many times you are aware with your seeing and your hearing. The, another idea is easy to come. Not very difficult. Because seeing is happening, you have nothing to do. Hearing is also, you have nothing to do. You know nothing to do. Already here, already seen, because the conditioning is complete. When you play this scene and hear in this, no person. This is a process. Happening, this, another idea is more obvious. Who is seeing? Who is looking? No person. The process happening. Because of conditioning, whole conditioning is complete, seeing is coming. Light, the object, and attention, I base. I base. If this full factor, full factor is complete, the C consciousness can't. This is a nobody can stop. This is the conditioning. Object, size object, light. If you no light anymore, the C consciousness cannot come. If this full fat is one one fat is broken, the C consciousness cannot come. Hearing also the same. Hearing is sound, the object, then air, air. How, how do you say this Japanese? Uh, air, Japanese, air and attention and eye base. Four factor is complete, the eye, ear, hearing, consciousness will come. Nobody can stop if complete conditioning. So this is a cause and effect. Every time we try to practice about seeing, hearing, very obviously there is nobody there. And this all sense are the same. So we try to learn from the nature. Huh? Try to aware, how to aware also, you need to learn how to aware with the wisdom. 
because our mind is uh, looking with the craving, delusion, aversion is habit. Meditation, you cannot do look like this. Meditation means we try to see the nature as wisdom, with the wisdom, not craving, not aversion. We practice with the wisdom, that's why wisdom will come. That's why you need to learn how to aware with the equanimity, with the wisdom. This wisdom we don't have, we are not enough. That's why we are learning now. We, we try to watch the, the whole world with the craving, aversion, delusion is automatic, habit. That's why we see something ah, liking, disliking already there. Right? And now we try to change our view. This is not change the view, the idea. We don't judge the experience good or bad. As object is object. Feeling just feeling, like this. this uh, physical process and um, nature. Mental process as a nature. So, then the mind can watch with the nature. Then the mind can understand it. You will not try to watch the craving or watch the aversion. When you pain come, you aversion and watching the pain like this, you cannot learn. When the pain comes, the mind resists, right? And will resist it and you try to watch the resistance. Your resistance, resistance only increasing. When you angry, someone, you watching, looking him all the time, many times, what happening? More, more angry, right? Because you're looking with angry. So angry is increasing. So now meditation is learning how to watch, how to watch the experience as a wisdom. Okay? That's why we, we Pasana is a special view. Looking the nature, looking the nature special view, not ordinary view. Ordinary view is that we all the time looking with the craving, version delusion. So meditation, that's why we need to change our view. Don't judging the experience, good or bad. This is nature. Then the mind can accept easier and step back. Then you can learn from the process. So this is a learning how to watch. Is first and first learning is how to practice. And if you practice right way, then the right and the right result will come later. Okay? When you present good experience how the, the mind is lacking, that means you, say you are not meditating. If you best situation come the mind resist, that means you are not meditating. Yet. Then whatever comes the mind is accept and not not attached, not resist, then your mind is meditating. With the this is easier, not easier. Beginning we try to attach, we like it, then watch your liking first. So any experience comes, the mind resists or attach, reaction comes. Reaction means it's liking or disliking both. So first you need to watch your reaction first. Reaction is calm down, then come back to the disorder. This is a formula. If your mind reacts to the object, this object you cannot use meditation object. It's a raw object. Because your mind is wrong already. Because of the mind reaction, liking or disliking, and look at this object, this object is not meditation object. You liking with the lava, your lava increasing. You you angry with the object, watch the angry with the object, the angry increasing. No meditation. Meditation is a quantitative, the wholesome quality. So that's why you need to use the right view. It's a nature, and try to learn this nature is also. You not understand very well yet, but you are aware many times, slowly the mind can understand. That's why you need a lot of experience, practice all the time. So, so sitting, walking, eating, whatever you do, the mind, attention to yourself, you all the time pay attention to yourself and whatever you do, try to know you are doing this. Your hand move, you know your hand move. Leg move, you know your you know your leg is move. You know you are sitting, you know you are walking, you know you are eating. That's all. Try to aware of yourself. This first physical object is more obvious, easy to be aware. For beginner, physical object is easier. Physical process is more easier. Mental process is later. 
because the mind is so subtle and so fast. So if you, you beginner, they try to aware the mind, the mind cannot crowd it. So subtle and so quick. So use the physical objects to crowd it and slowly the mind awareness better and better, we try to aware the mind state. You can know the mind state easier, it's a feeling and thoughts. But pay attention also, you can know, but if you're aware all the time, the awareness becomes obvious. Like a, you wear the pen and you move dot, small, small, small dot like this. What happening? The light, light appear, right? So if you're aware continuously, the awareness quality naturally is growing. you aware all the time, your mind awareness is become more, more obvious to you. That's why continuity awareness is very important. Okay? So, I think that's enough. <laughs>